People getting ready to check out day two of EAA Air Venture, and as Steve said, the weather could be impacting those plans for those attending this morning. Yeah, we're looking live right here at campers near their ultralight planes at EAA. This is thanks to those live cameras giving us a look inside the grounds. You see those tents right underneath the wings there of those planes. Emily Roberts live on the grounds. What's it looking like out there now? I see the rain behind you, Emily. Yeah, Tammy Emerson, that rain is coming down as we speak. You might be able to actually hear it bouncing off of the tent that I'm standing under right now. There are lots of places to stay dry on these grounds, like the International Visitors Tent. The tent is covered, so people coming from other countries can sign in and meet other people coming to EIA Air Venture from thousands of miles away. Those guests can even put a push pin on a map to mark their country. Some impressive numbers here. EIA says nearly 2,000. 1,400 visitors from other countries registered at the tent last year, and they came from a record tying 93 countries outside the states. But important, that doesn't include the international visitors who never registered. The actual total is a lot higher. International tent co chair Victor Briones says volunteers speak dozens of languages to help people adjust to Oshkosh. So when I visited, I saw volunteers from Germany, Japan, Panama, France, and Uruguay speaking with visitors. Briones says he tries to make the international tent feel like a home away from home. If you come in today and we don't have your language, I'll guarantee you we'll make an effort to get it for tomorrow and you have it. So we want people to feel welcome, we want to come back. We want to give it the best attention that we can. Apparently, I'm already the third Belgian uh, to sign up here, which is, uh, surprised me. I, I didn't expect to see any Belgians here to begin with uh, or to be able to speak Dutch because there's a Dutch-speaking lady here. So that was nice. It was, uh, it was nice to see. Every day, volunteers keep track of the number of visitors from each country on a giant whiteboard. So it's going to be exciting to see what those totals look like by the end of AirVenture. Live in Oshkosh, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.